recruiting more and more, more doctors and building more infrastructure for healthcare professionals to work in. Those are just some of the pressing needs healthcare leaders in our state talk to lawmakers about this week. News 13's Annalisa Pardo has more from a committee meeting at the Roundhouse on how to improve the healthcare industry. New Mexico, like every state, is challenged with having enough health care workforce. Health care leaders in the state laying out for the Legislative Health and Human Services Committee this week how to fix the problems with New Mexico's health care systems. UNMH leaders noting the workforce need is increasing because of a slight decline in birth rates and the state's aging population, which demands more health care services. So even if the population numbers stay the same, the overall demand and needs for health care can go up. Also noting the average age of a physician is 53 years old. If you have an older health care workforce, which we do in New Mexico, then that means that you're going to have a greater need in the future as those health care professionals retire. UNM hospital leaders telling lawmakers the state's rural landscape also makes it hard to recruit workers and create more access to health care. They talk to lawmakers about recruiting strategies like enhanced loan repayments and competitive salaries. Both UNMH and Presbyterian Healthcare System says they'd like to see more pipeline programs to get younger students interested in STEM and even a medical career earlier. UNMH says if things don't change, projections show by 2030 34. The state could be down 1,300 doctors and more than 5,000 nurses. Presbyterians saying they're anticipating a need for even more staff for a 108-bed expansion at its campus. UNMH also in the midst of an expansion. For example, as we uh, complete our UNM hospital new tower, mm -hmm. we're going to um, need many more providers, thousands. And healthcare leaders say more expansions like these are also needed, especially in those rural parts of the state. When we think about creating access to healthcare, it's not just about the people, but it's making sure that we have the healthcare infrastructure to recruit healthcare professionals into. Annalisa Pardo, KRQE, News 13. Presbyterian and UNMH also shared their efforts to retain their staff, which included offering work-life balance, competitive salaries, and opportunities to advance.